Hey guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modelling Bench and you're probably looking here on my bench and thinking why have I got a man's name and the model ship part hash written on my uh, on my bench. This video is for Ron. Ron Calverly, go look him up, he's got his own channel, he's got more than twice as many subs as me um, and he has a video series called The Model Ship and he's done a few other sort of crafty things as well With his, he's got a massive workshop under his house. Go take a look, there's a lot of stuff worth seeing. Uh, he's a Canadian guy, well, he lives in Canada, and um, he's currently building the Trumpeter 1200th HMS Hood, and he has just finished building the Trumpeter 1200th Bismarck. So, and then he's got the next one is the Rodney in 200 scale. So he's at the point now where he's, he wants to paint the deck on his hood. So what he's done, he's asked the question, what colour do I paint the deck? Should I go for the old deck tan XF55 or the new deck tan XF78? And as you can see, there's a vast difference. So everybody has replied basically use 78, it's a much better colour. Um, I actually think 55 would be a better colour to make the deck washed out and then, and then give it a wash to, to highlight the detail. But I would like to add a third colour into the mix and that is desert yellow. Now, it's too bright okay but used in moderation um, it can really add some effects so what I want to show here this is basically it's not so much a tutorial because I'm sure you all know how to do it but basically what I've said to Ron is why don't you do the, the, the system I would use on a plastic deck and I've done it before on model ships many many moons ago and basically this is the um, aft well deck from the Trumpeter 200 Titanic uh, and you can see the only part on it that's planked is the bit that's visible. Everywhere else here, there's superstructure. So basically, um, you've got this area here, and I'm going to do this effect on this little area just to show you how it's done. Now, it takes a little while, but I don't think Ron's going to mind that because if you see his Bismarck and watch the last few parts of that doing the rigging, um, it's quite incredible. So go take a look at his website. That's it there, Ron Calverly, the model ship. And it's just, he's on like part 550 now, I think, or something. Um, and he hasn't started the number rolling again for the hood, so you'll have to go back and find the first parts of the hood and the last parts of the Bismarck. So, um, like I say, I want to add three colours. Now, for this, what I'm going to do is basically spray a base colour, then I'm going to mask off some planks, and then I'm going to spray another colour, then I'm going to mask off some more planks, and spray a third colour, and I might even then take all the tape off and give it a fogging over with a with the, with the lighter colour just to tone things down if it looks a bit bright and then after that I'll give it a wash. So I want to show you basically how we do this. Now today again in, in England it's really really hot and muggy and that we're not geared up for it so the house is really too hot for doing any proper painting or anything so if this goes a bit wrong that's why it, when you paint when it's too hot the paint just dries too fast so um, if it does go a bit wrong Hey ho, it's just basically showing you the, the concept. And I'm going to be putting a wooden deck on this anyway. I've got the Pontos set for it, so um, I'm not really worried if I mess this up. So basically what you're going to need, the first thing you need to do this is some masking tape. Okay, now this is um, Mr. Hobby masking tape in a Tamiya holder. If this doesn't work, I've got some masking tape in there from Tamiya, but this stuff seems thinner, so I thought this might be better to use. So that's the Mr. Hobby 10mm wide masking tape, you could use 6mm or whatever. You need a brand new blade. Don't try cutting masking tape with an old blunt blade. Um, you'll get a really rough edge and it might even pull the tape from underneath the rule. I'm not going to use a rule, I'm going to use this brilliant little thing here. This is an Infini cutting mat. And basically this is an acrylic sheet with grooves in it. So that what you can do is actually place your knife in a groove and then you can follow the groove down and cut through and through the tape. So. I'll show you how that works in a minute. The first thing we're going to do, and obviously we need an airbrush as well, and we need some paint and some thinners. And I think we'll just use Tamiya thinners because I know that's what Ron likes to use. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is use the colour that I want the least of. Now, you would normally start with the lightest colour and work up. But the thing is, we want these two colours to be a lot more prominent than this one. And we want this one to be a lot more prominent than this one. Okay, so I know this is going to be Ron's preferred choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this one first, and then what I'll do is I'll mask, okay, and then we'll spray over with this one, and then I'll mask again, and then we'll spray over with this one. And that will give us 
mainly this because the last colour you use will be the most you see obviously unless you mask off loads of planks and just leave a couple showing but the idea of this is just to add a little bit of variation so you haven't got this slab of plank moulded plastic you actually get a little bit of variation so first thing I'm going to do you don't need to see this I'm going to airbrush XF59 Desert Yellow onto this and then I'll come back okay so there we go that's that painted with the Desert Yellow XF59 don't have to use that, use something a bit darker if you want. This is just purely to show you an effect. So, um, you can see I've missed a bit there, I went a bit thin, but um, I've probably got a little drop in the airbrush I can use just to get in there. There we go. So, um, and you can also see, I've put it on very, very thin, you can almost see through it. And that, the whole idea of that is to get a variation. Um, if you look at a plank of wood, unless it's a very expensive piece of mahogany or something, it's never just one colour, it's always a variation and stuff. So we want this to be a little bit kind of uneven and blotchy. It's all about, um, what is it, I can't really call it now, an, an art, a license, artist license or whatever you call it. And um, basically, it's really hard to remember phrases and stuff when you're talking to everyone and trying to remember what you're going to say next. Um, so yeah, that's basically that's the first colour on. So what I've got to do now is mask off some of these planks. Now if you look at this, I'll get you close up, you can see that all the plank lengths, although I think it's inaccurate, are all even. And on this model they're all 55 millimetres. Okay, unless they come up to an end, and then they're not obviously 55 millimetres, but where, where there's a join, and you come along to the next place and there's a join, it's 55 millimetres. So I've measured the, um, the width, they're approximately 0.7, so I'm going to use 0.6 on the cutting mat because it cuts slightly wide. And basically, um, what I'm going to do now is make up some strips to mask off this deck. So this Infini cutting mat you don't have to have, you can just get masking tape, put some down on your bench, cut, cut it into strips. But this does make life a lot easier and it also guarantees you nice straight lengths. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the 0.6 as I say and I'm going to come along and I'm just going to lay this masking tape down on there, push it down like that. Push it down on there, it saves it sort of picking up as you drag the knife through and I'm going to come along to the first incomplete edge. I'm just going to run down. There we go, I'm going to go to the next one because oh, I'm not far enough. Let's go to this one and then I'm going to pick this one off because that one isn't parallel because the edge isn't dead parallel so as always trying to get this masking tape off your fingers is a nightmare and then I'll do the same on the other edge so I'll come along to here and then just run down right so as I said we know they're 55 millimeters long so what I can do is come along here and go across and I can remove that piece there and then we've got I know down to here is 50 and I've come 5 short, but I'll go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So I can come across here and now I've got lengths of tape, which these are all 55 and then these are shorter. So if I'm going to do a complete length along here, I'll use this. If it's not a complete length, I'll use the shorter pieces. So I can come in here now with my knife, pick up the groove, come down and just cut strips of tape which are going to be the correct width I, I missed the groove there okay as you can see and so on so, so I'm going to cut this piece I was going to cut it in half but I won't so come on here, I've got some tweezers. Now these are special tweezers, you don't need to have these, but they are really good. They're, um, they're non-adhesive tweezers. They have a, a coating on them so the tape doesn't stick to them, which is really, really weird, but it works. It's a bit gimmicky, but it works. So what I can do now is just come along here. So see I'm gonna mask off from this plank here. I can just put the tape down we 
you can go you can see that's taped down there now and that's masked basically from the end of the plank off the end there so I'm just going to go on and do some more now randomly across the deck and then I'll come back okay so there we go I have to use my um, magnifier to do this because my eyes are shot because I'm old um, and fat and ugly anyway never mind um, so there we go we've got tape on here and as you can see there's not a lot of coverage um, and that's all we're going to see of this colour coming through because the other two colours are going to go over this so that's all you're going to see is that there so it's just an odd spattering of this darker colour and that's why for those of you that started off saying oh my god you can't use that it's way too yellow well hang on and watch to the end so um, what I'm going to do now I'm going to now spray it with um, this colour because this is going to be sorry this colour the XF55 and then what we're going to do is mask off some more so we'll have the dark against the light and then we'll mask off some more and then we'll, we'll paint on the XF78 and then maybe we'll give out fog afterwards so um, I'm going to paint it now with the XF55 so I'll see you in a minute there we go so we've done the XF55 now there's the, the deck tan you can see we've got the masking on there you can see that a couple of them like that one there isn't perfectly straight but I'm not going to worry about that um, you'll see when the, end, when the end effect comes you'll see that it doesn't really matter if it's not perfect so I'm um, just going to give that a few minutes just to dry off and then we'll uh, put some more masking tape on there in some random areas and then we'll paint the XF78 and there we go back again and we've got more tape on us so you can see we've got the old tape with the XF55 and then we've got the new tape so now we're going to spray over with the XF68 which is Ron's favourite colour I believe so that will be the main colour and then when we take all the masking tape off we'll have these other shades showing through so I'm going to go and spray this on now I'm going to thin it about 50-50 with the Tamiya X20A thinners and um, spray it all over again I should be a little bit blotchy and then what we'll see is a little bit of blotchiness showing through and you know if you want to have more of this colour showing through you just put more tape on um, you can actually go for wider strips or whatever um, I have noticed that HMS Hood, I've, I've got the kit, the 200 scale kit, the planks are about 0.9 wide so it's not so much as this, you don't have to do as much work. I didn't measure the length but um, as I said on this one you've got a constant 55mm length on the length of the planks, I'm not sure about the accuracy but um, and then you've got the random lengths where it sort of finishes off underneath walls and stuff. So uh, I'm going to go and put some more paint on this now and then we'll see what it looks like. Alright so there we go, that's all painted now and you can see on here you can see we've got the brown on there and we've got all the masking tape to come off. So let's get some of this masking tape off now. I'm going to use these tweezers because they're fairly blunt and they won't scratch the paint so easily. So we can just pick off the masking tape like so. And we can see the different colours coming through. Now I'm going to leave this to dry a bit longer before I do much more. So I'll come back in a minute and uh, it'll be a minute for you, it'll be half an hour for me because as you can see the paint is um, still soft but we can see now that the you see there's the XF55 under there and there's the XF49 under there so you can see now we're getting this sort of difference in colour and as you can see it's very very defined and these little bits of masking tape are a right paint just roll them in your fingers and they they will just come off like so um, but you can see that the it's very very defined now I'm going to come in now with a knife and just pick up these corners and then pull away the tape and then the same here I'm just gently picking up the edges and trying not to damage the paint. If you do damage the paint, it's not the end of the world because you know you, the whole reason for doing all this is getting some colour variation and damaging the paint will give you colour variation. That XF55 doesn't appear to be far off the colour of the, it almost looks like it's pulling the paint off but it's actually not, that, that deck tan isn't far off the colour of the actual grey plastic itself. <clears throat> 
So I think it's kind of trying to, the deck tan, I think it's trying to depict a sort of sun bleached, matted out, washed out, uncared for deck. Whereas we know that most decks on most ships, particularly, I mean, this is Titanic, so, you know, it was never really weathered. It never got the chance to get weathered. Um, but we know that, uh, you know, some of the um, warships during peacetime or during, you know, downtime, the, the sailors were constantly scrubbing the decks and keeping them keeping them clean. So I'm going to go on and get the rest of this tape off rather than have you uh, bored to tears watching me all of it, watching me do all of it, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so um, all the tape's off, <clears throat> and as we can see, it's it's a little bit too much of a difference. The the XF49 I've used is probably a little too dark. The XF55 is a little bit grey, isn't it? It almost looks like a primer grey when you see it here. So what we want to do is make all this come out, and we want to Sort of tone down this brown colour, um, but also I want to I want to make it a bit brighter. Now we have to forget for a minute this is Titanic, just for a second. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two halves. If this was Titanic, I think I'd be wanting to just take away the the sharpness of that brown by going over with a very heavily thin coat of the XF78 and sort of giving it a bit more brownness and then go over with a heavily thin coat of clear yellow. Now don't cringe, it just it will give it a very very um, kind of polished wood look. Okay, now we'll see how it comes out and you can see what you think. If it was something like HMS Hood that Ron's doing that wants to be depicted as, you know, it's a bit battle war and it's, you know, the they haven't scrubbed the decks, the sun's been beating down on it. You could kind of, um, you know, perhaps go over the XF78 or maybe even a very, very heavily thin mix of something like XF19 and just take it back and take the, the wood colour away and make it look a bit bleached and stuff. You can also use oils and do stuff, but we'll do that afterwards. Um, or you could go in with like a smoke X19, heavily thinned, um, and give that a, a, a light coat. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll we'll, we'll imagine, have an imaginary line down the middle. I think what I'll do is I'll go over now with the XF78 and then I'll go over with the XF19 on this side and we'll see the difference to see what it looks like. And this is going to be very heavily thin. It's going to be like 80% thinners or 70% thinners, 30% paint. So I'll go away and do that. I don't do airbrushing on camera because, because I don't. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. So we'll do this side, well, whatever side comes out in what. Okay, so we can see now what's happened. This side has got the XF78. And this side is the XF19, which is the XF19 is the sky grey, XF78 is the wooden deck tan. And basically, you can see what's happened is this has brought the XF55 out, the deck tan. Okay, and this side has kind of toned down the darker wood, it's toned down everything, but it's brought out the XF78. So you can see this difference now in shade. Now as I say, this is a test, this is a trial, this is just to show you an effect you can get. If I was doing this for real, I would be, I would be using a lot more tape um, and have a lot less of the XF78. But what we can do now is we can make this kind of look bright and we can make this look a bit darker. What I'm going to do is a heavily thinned mix of the clear yellow on here and a heavily thinned mix of the X19 smoke on here. Right, so here we go. That's had the heavily thinned smoke, the X19, and this has had the heavily thinned clear yellow X24. And it doesn't look right on camera. It's, it looks a lot better in the flesh than it does on the camera. Because here it's looking like the X55 is really coming through, and in, in reality it's not. Maybe if I put it like this you'll get a better idea of how it looks, but then the, then the darker brown comes up. I think really the secret to this is to not use such a dark brown. But, um, in fact, in, in, to my eye now, this looks really, really good. Um, but on the camera, it's, it's just picking up. It's just really, really accentuating the dark and the light. So you can also see it's got a little bit of a gloss to it now as well because the, um, these, these two paints here are, are gloss. So I think the next thing to do now is give it an oil wash and um, just sort of break it down a bit. 
So uh, let me see what I'm going to use and we'll go from right there. Here I've got a, this is just Ordinary Reeves oil colour, burnt umber, probably 25 years old. And some low odour thinners, odourless thinners. Uh, I use odourless, it doesn't attack the plastic. And I've based, basically mixed it up here on an upturned Mr Hobby jar. Now a lot of people use Tamiya jars, but the beauty of the Mr Hobby jars, as you can see, they, um, they've got like a, a, a curve, like they're, they're convex, so it's really, really good for mixing paint and stuff on. And I often use the Mr Hobby ones. So just going to dab, dab the brush on a paper towel. I think that's off the camera, you can't see it. So let's just dab the brush on a paper towel so you can see that it's not too bad. And then we can just brush this on. And what this will do is it's working better than the filter because the filter was, um, there was just nothing to it. So we can just brush this on. And again, we can le um, level, change the amount we put on for the effect we want. So you can see I can just go really heavy. You get quite a heavy loading. You can see it all running down there. I can just brush it on. And what it will do, you, can't, you won't see it straight away, but what it will do, it will settle down into all the, all the little nooks and crannies between the planks. And it will also bring everything down because it's brown, it's acting like a filter, it's toning it all down. And as you can probably tell by the, the way this video is going, this is all kind of, let's give this a go and see how it works. This isn't all pre, you know, pre-tested and I mean the, the masking method is pre-tested. And as I say, if I was going for this properly, I would probably have used more masking and got more colour variation. Um, and I may not have used that XF59, but this video will be good reference for me in the future. So yeah, if, I, if you were doing this, I would perhaps use... I don't know, maybe something like XF15 or just sort of use some of that and lighten it down or, or you know, use the XF78 with a bit of white in it and use the XF78 on its own initially. But now we can really, really see as this starts to dry, let's get all that out of the way, we can really, really see what that one was doing and it's giving us again under the camera it doesn't look any good at all you try this at home and you'll see what I mean the camera is really really picking up maybe if I dim the light slightly that's a little bit better um, the, the camera is picking up on the darks and the lights if I do that it makes it even worse but you can see that we've now got all the plank definition there and instead of looking like a piece of plastic it actually looks like you know, a bit more like wood. So that is XF59, XF55, XF78, X24, and an oil wash. That is XF59, XF55, XF78, XF19, and then X20, X19, which is the smoke. So that hasn't seen any of the clear yellow and that hasn't seen any of the greys. So um, there we go. Oh, and I went over with the XF78, didn't I, thinned before I put the X24 on. So there you go, guys. That's, that's one for Ron. And it's just to show you how easy it is to get this kind of variation effect on the deck rather than have it all just one colour. Um, and again, you can, go, you, know, you can go with a darker oil if you want to and make it really, really pop out. Um, <clears throat> And on the hood, it's going to be a lot easier because the planks are wider and longer. I think they're longer. So um, less, uh, less, less number of planks to mask, if you like. But you can see that's pretty much dry already. I just rub my finger over there now. And the beauty with using oil washes is if you don't like it, you can just go over with some odourless thinners and take it off. I mean, I can take a, a cotton bud here. I've got one here. And just go over the surface and just remove remove as much as I want. I've got to be careful because the paint is its almost real time you're watching this in. So be careful because it'll start to lift the paint even though enamels won't normally affect acrylics. Um, if you do it too quick 
and it will. Jess has heard something outside. And there we go. So give it a go, Ron. It's not too difficult. And uh, I know you can do it. There's no, there's, there's no skill in it. It's just, it, it just takes longer than just painting it brown. I mean, even if you don't do the plank work and just put the wash on afterwards, just brown oil paint and the um, odorless thinners. There you go. You don't have to use this make. Just use any low odor or odorless thinners that you can get. Um, or just buy a pre-made brown wash. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.